Month is ENT Health Month, designed to raise awareness for the common ear, nose, and throat problems suffered by kids. In this week's medical moment, Derek Francis explains one lesser known problem that can really have parents worried. Having a newborn baby sleep through the night shouldn't be expected by parents. However, having a child with noisy breathing can be scary in a different situation altogether. Laryngomalacia is the most common cause of noisy breathing in infants. Uh, most commonly that noise is described as strider. That's usually a high-pitched noise. If you've never heard of laryngomalacia or strider, you're not alone. That's why you should see an otorolingologist. Most commonly, laryngomalacia and strider occurs within the first two weeks of birth. Um, but then over the next three months or so, it can get worse before it gets better. That has to do with the cause of laryngomalacia, which is basically a floppiness of the larynx. Dr. Chad Affman of Spectrum Health says it's important you differentiate between strider and snoring. Strider is more of a high-pitched noise, um, almost, ha almost has a musical quality or a tonal quality. Snoring is more of a uh, stertorous or raspy breathing, lower pitched. It is, it, it is a different sound because it, because it comes from a different area. Okay. Snoring typically comes from collapse of tissue either at the level of the tonsils, the tongue, or at the palate. Strider most commonly comes from a lesion or an obstruction at the level of the larynx, vocal cords, or trachea. Dr. Afrin says even with a child with laryngomalacia who's fine at rest, it's common for strider to show up when the infant's active or gets upset. Another important quality or symptom to look for is uh, what we call retractions. Retractions are the sinking in of the skin around the rib cage or trachea uh, upon breathing in. If there are retractions uh, present, it usually indicates that there is some obstruction going on um, that is impairing the airway. Dr. Afman says while the description of strider and the sound itself can be alarming, it'll usually take care of itself and occasionally an acid medications like Zantac or Prilosec will be prescribed. That typically is worse initially and then after three months to six months it starts to get better on its own. Majority of kids will grow out of laryngomalacia without having to do any surgical interventions. Derek Francis, Fox 17 News. All right, here's something to make you smile a little bit. A little girl named Sierra.